Hi everyone. I'm going to talk today a little bit about letting go of guilt. It's something that the angels have always shown me, even from the time I was a child. I always remember, you know, a neighbour in Old Kamenam who lived up the road and I asked the angels one day when I was walking, why is he always so angry? And the angel said to me, Lorna, because he's full of guilt of him not being there for his brother when his brother needed him. And I just want to remind you to let go of guilt is really important because you don't want to spend the rest of your life, you know, feeling guilty or feeling sad or unhappy within yourself because when you feel guilty about things, it makes you sad, it makes you unhappy. And sometimes we don't even realize that it is because we're feeling guilty about something or maybe half a dozen things that have happened in our lives that we blame ourselves for in that, in that way. But to let it go, you know, frees you. It helps to knock those chains off. It helps you to feel more confident within yourself. And I always tell people, just, you know, think for a moment and ask yourself, why are you not able to let go of guilt? Why are you finding it so hard? What are the things that you feel guilty about? You know, sometimes it can be something so small but yet it hinders your life. It can be, you know, you're, you feel guilty about your own body. You hate it, you know, or in a sense, you even look at someone else and you say, they're so beautiful. You know, their body is, is perfect and you're feeling guilty about your own. Or, or you're feeling guilty in the sense that, you know, for maybe trivial little things, maybe, you know, not, I, I always have to smile at this because I, I remember a mother saying it to me, Lorna, I feel guilty for losing my temper, you know, for not being able to control myself. But it was lovely that she was recognizing that these are one of the things that she feels guilty about. And I just said to her, ask her guardian angel to help her, but to do something else. And I tell everyone to do this. And that is to take a deep breath or a little breath and just take a step back and say, no, I won't get angry. I won't get mad. I don't have to feel guilty. I don't have to cause guilt on myself. You know, and, and I suppose in life, we all, that word the angels gave, cause guilt on our own, on our own lives. It's like sometimes it's a, a choice we have, but to let go of guilt is, it's just something we need to do more and more and we need to be reminded of it over and over again and again. So maybe a little exercise you could do. You could do the deep breath, but you could do another one. You could write down, you know, give yourself time, pen and paper, not necessarily your phone or your laptop. But if you're writing it down with pen and paper, that you want to let go of guilt, and what guilt you want to let go, you might be very surprised with yourself. You might want to let go the guilt that you haven't spoken to someone in a long time. But you will write why that happened, why you felt guilty of not talking. It could be a family member, it could be someone that was a great friend, but you had this row or whatever happened and you just feel so guilty about it, but you never healed it. And 
you know, to write it down and read it out loud and for you to hear it, hear the words yourself are so important. It helps you to let go of guilt and it helps you to feel less anxious. Now you'll probably feel anxious, you'll probably feel nervous, you'll probably in a sense say to yourself, oh, I have nothing to be guilty about. I remember that situation, you know, that wasn't my fault. But look at it in a way, in a different way. Look at it in a way, what can you do about it now? Can you let go of that guilt so that you free yourself, so that you love yourself, so that you have a smile on your face and you feel better? You know, we all hold on to guilt so much, you know, that we even cry. We don't know why we're unhappy. And one other little exercise I would love you to do, and I know this is a few little exercises within, within this, you know, writing it down, taking the breath, you know, stepping back, you know, but I would like you to do one very special thing, and that would be, as often as possible, call in your guardian angel to give you a helping hand, not to feel guilty, to let go of guilt. And ask your guardian angel, what can you do today to let it go? Because I want you to hear what your guardian angel is saying to you to help you to let it go. And I have to smile because my guardian angel is, is saying, um, tell them to give themselves a hug, a love, you know, because again, holding on to guilt means as well that you don't love yourself enough. You know, guilt plays a very negative role in our lives and you don't want that. So maybe make that decision that you don't want to have that negativity in your life of any guilt. So start to write them down why you feel guilty and be true to yourself about that guilt, about letting that guilt go and have the courage and the confidence. And it's like, one little bit at a time. You don't have to say to yourself, oh, I have written down 10 of them and I'm going to let them all go now. But it doesn't work like that. You have to take one at a time, have a look at it and recognize that you want to let that guilt go, that you want to throw it away. And you have to keep reminding yourself every time it comes up again so that it gets weaker and weaker all of the time and then disappears. I always, um, how would I say, a 14 year old boy saying to me, you know, I have been so guilty and I can't let this guilt go. And I said to him, well, what is it? And he just said, well, I stole something from my best friend and I have never told him. And this was only a 14 year old kid. And he said, Lorna, I don't want to hold on to that guilt because if I start to let go, let go of guilt now at this young age, I should have none again at 20. And I had to just smile at him because sometimes we make mistakes or we do things, you know, because we're hurt and we hurt back. And then that causes us to have more guilt. Um, but I loved that this 14 year old recognized the guilt he was feeling. And I just said to him, well, why don't you go to your friend and just if you still have the thing that you took, give it back to him and just tell him you're very sorry. He might walk away from you 
or he might, in a sense, you know, scream at you and, you know, but it's like, take it and just tell him you're sorry. And I know that young, young boy did that because if he was still feeling so guilty, I know I would have met him again and he would tell me I didn't have the courage. But it's to have the courage again for you to let go of the guilt you're feeling in your life so that you free yourself. And we all can do that. You know, we all carry so much guilt. It's like we, guilt makes us even feel sorry for ourselves. Guilt, in a sense, makes you kind of say, you blame yourself, well, things haven't worked out. You know, and you're feeling guilty because things haven't worked out. And sometimes we even feel guilt when things do work. So it would be good if we could, what would I say, eliminate the word guilt from our lives and be a kinder and more loving person. And just ask God and your guardian angel to help you. Remember you're loved. And again, some, some people would say to me, they feel so guilty. How can I let go of this guilt, Lorna? Because I don't feel loved. No one has ever loved me. And I would say to them, have you ever loved yourself? And sometimes they would look at me, you know, in surprise when I would say that. Because if you don't love yourself, how can you love anyone else? How can you let even love in? And it's so sad if we're feeling that kind of guilt as well. So let go of that. Let it go and smile and say to yourself, I'm okay. I can take the next step in life. And every time I do something wrong or I might be selfish, I will stop myself so I won't have to feel guilty about being selfish or I won't have to feel guilty about just putting myself first in that sense, or I won't feel guilty about, you know, gossiping even in that, in that way. We all need to let go guilt, just to let it go. And it's kind of, I'd love that we could set it on fire and it would burn away and the ashes and the smoke, you know, would disintegrate into the atmosphere and our guilt would be gone and we would just feel love, happiness and joy, and we would no longer be nervous or anxious or afraid. So I'm, that's all I'm going to say about guilt today, but ask your guardian angel for help. And as well, I would say to you, you know, you can pray and ask God to help you not to feel guilty, to help you to let go of the guilt and correct what you need to correct within your life. You are fabulous, you are incredible, and I love you. God bless.